Hello my friends and welcome to my minimalist apartment tour. My name is Aki and thanks for joining me today. I'm a school teacher who lives a minimal life in a small village in Japan. I always try to live efficiently and without waste like when I do traditional Japanese tea ceremony. This is my living room, there isn't a couch or a bed. There's a rug and bedding, oh and my bamboo bike. I used to use my futon, but it's a bit heavy and takes up too much space. So I switched them to a foldable mattress and futon shaped sleeping bag. It's comfy and warm even if the temperature is below zero. If it's too hot in summer, you can open a zipper to adjust the temperature. Actually, I feel like this is the best decision I've ever made in my pursuit of a minimal life. I use the other side of the soft rug for my workout and stretches. My apartment came with a table, so I just bought this camping chair. I found that camping stuff is compatible with a minimal lifestyle because they're portable, light and can fold up nice and small. I don't have a bookshelf, all the books I have are in this box. It takes up less space and it's easy to pick up. Let's move on to the kitchen area, it's quite simple. This is the cabinet and I kept the inside minimal. These are all the plates, bowls and cups that I own. There are no plastic cups or bowls and they are mostly ceramics or made of wood. This is my favorite sushi cup, I can't even read them all though. These are the utensils I use, wooden spoon and chopsticks. Chopsticks are multi-purpose. An induction stove was included with my apartment. My favorite one is this Japanese tetsubin, iron teapot, which was handmade by a skilled craftsman. The water is so clean that I can drink directly from the tub, but just in case, I filter the water to remove all harsh chemicals like fluoride and chlorine. I don't use any harsh chemical detergent or cleaning product at home. Mostly, I use only hot water, but when it's too oily, I use baking soda detergent. Let's open my fridge. There's food for smoothies, apples, oranges, ginger, and sometimes bananas. Aside from that, there are vegetables for curry and fermented food like kimchi and miso. I also keep my closet minimal. I have some outerwear and parkers and a suit. And there is some thermal underwear in this drawer. These are my shoes, they're for formal and for casual. These are my favorite sandals, they're durable and flexible. Now on to the bathroom. I use a front loader because it can save water. Instead of laundry detergent, I use magnesium. I think magnesium is a stronger base than baking soda. Magnesium creates alkalized water and that gets rid of the dirt. The sink area is kept minimal without distractions. So what is this? I call it bathroom kit. After taking a shower, I also do a half body bath. And this is perfect for that. I can watch my favorite YouTube channels or read books while I take a bath. In Kamari's method, the bathroom is not an environment to keep things, because it had too much moisture. So I always take all my bathroom stuff out. In Japan, the toilet and the bathroom are usually located separately. This type of Japanese toilet is created to be able to save water, and I use toilet paper with no toilet paper roll. It's fun to try my best to keep my home minimal and sustainable at the same time. Okay, so I'll be adding more videos like this on minimalism and how I went minimal life. Plus, I'll introduce life in the Edo period in Japan because I'm sure the Edo period is the origin of minimal and sustainable life. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.